My name is Makia, tells the story of Makia Malo, a Kalao Papa resident diagnosed with Hansen's disease, also known as leprosy, at the age of 12. Over the years, Malo lost his uh, hands and uh, his eyesight and his feet, but he never lost his spirit. Makia Malo's inspirational memoir is being released this weekend and was written by our very own Pamela Young. And Pamela and Makia Malo join us in studio this morning with more good morning to both of you. Good Thanks morning, for coming Gino. in. Now, I know in reading this story, um, you know, we haven't heard much about Kala Papa told in the first story, first person like this. Pamela, why did you write this? Why did you write this? Book? Well, you know, well, first of all, it's really Makia's words that I'm, I just happened to be there to put it on paper. I was privileged to do that. Uh, we traveled together to Belgium for the canonization of Father Damien. And um, I have a sister who um, is uh, visually impaired. And so we just kind of bonded on, on the trip. And then afterwards, um, I visited him in uh, Halimohalu every week to um, write down his incredible story. They all, all of the patients have, have wonderful stories to tell. Um, Makia's is amazing. He's a, he is a truly remarkable man. Exactly. And I thought it was interesting that you really kept it real. You really used Makia's voice throughout. I mean, pigeon and everything. And that was important? Absolutely, because that's that's uh, his form of communication, and he does it best. That's right, and and right, Makia. I know has I, in reading the book, you know, I laughed and I cried all within the same chapter. And uh, when you look back on your life, considering that you were diagnosed with with the disease at age 12, and you've lost your hands, your feet, your eyesight, do you feel like you've been blessed or cursed with the disease? Oh, all of us that were in Klopapa felt that we were blessed. There's a part of it being cursed, but in the end, the people we were with, and as our lives turned out, it was fabulous. That's, that's amazing, considering what you went through and how it was pretty much like being banished yeah, uh, from, well, from society. Yeah, it, it was as if we were going to hell, but it wasn't. We had our own heaven there. As a youngster, I could go to the beach, do fishing. Then I learned how to go hunting. And hunting was my, my prime uh, experience there. And uh, sadly, I became blind and I couldn't hunt anymore. But, you're, but you've, you've become an accomplished writer and a poet and, and storyteller. And, storyteller. and mm -hmm. so there's so many things that uh, you're still able to do. Well, I, I was floored when I start, started to get into that, to find out pe people were, you know, fun to hear my stories, and that frames me up too, so <laughs> it was a fabulous experience. Right. And if it weren't for Jeff Gear. I wouldn't have got into the storytelling. Well, I was you. living in front of Punch Bowl, and he tells me, he wanted me to do a storytelling with him. I said, I don't know how to do that. He said, yeah, I heard you. I said, where? And he pointed to the building where I was living. I said, no, I wasn't storytelling. I was only a talking story. So he told me, same thing. <laughs> And, so, you made it and, and you made it exactly, and you are a good storyteller. That's well, how it turned out. Well, thank you, thank you both for being here, and thank you, Makia, for sharing your story, and Pamela for writing this. And you know what? It's very inspirational because you can show us that you can find joy and peace in just about any kind of circumstance that life gives you. Yeah. But I so want to thank, thank you, in honor of those who were before me to up and after. That what I do now brings honor to all of them. Absolutely. All right. The book is called My Name is Makia, a memoir of Kala Papa, and it's in bookstores now. And there is actually a book signing um, again, uh, on this Saturday. This Saturday at 1 o'clock, uh, Barnes & Noble, Kahala. All right, Pamela. Thanks so much, Pamela and Makia. And to see this interview again, you can just head to the morning section of our website, kitv.com. It's now 6.17. We'll be right back.